Before we dive into the disclaimers, I want to take this time to thank you, beautiful soul, for being here on my channel, showering me with love and support. I highly appreciate it. As we all know that I am an intuitive artist, which means my source is universe itself. So if you are looking for a professional help with your mental health, then this is in the channel for you. Here on my channel, we believe in self-discovery with authenticity, purpose and magic. Only if you are able to be 100% honest with yourself, will my content will be useful to you. Because these are my personal experiences which I learned on my journey while healing myself with love and care. My content is only meant for souls who are able to open not only their hearts but their mind, body and soul. You might be triggered by some of the content which you might not be ready to accept or hear and that's okay. You can come back when you're ready. Remember, this is in a professional advice but a human experience by a soul just like you. So use the content wisely. Because the truth never hides. It's the lies that hide the truth. So make sure before you reach out for the truth, you remove the lies around it. So what are we waiting for? Let's turn lemons to lemonade. Hello gorgeous souls, welcome to my channel. I am Turquoise Enchantress here with you today and I am an intuitive artist which means I use my psychic abilities to channel the messages from the divine through art, tarot, writing and content creation. On this channel we dive deep into flowing in our authentic truth so we can awaken the magic within us that can guide us back to our purpose. So if you are interested in knowing more about how you can take care of yourself mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually, then do subscribe to my channel because I post videos every Saturday. So what are we waiting for? Let's turn lemons to lemonade. On today's video, we will be diving into what are the things that we deal with during our twin flame journey. So there are pretty couple of things that I um, have observed, analyzed, researched uh, in my experience about what we all have to, you know, um, understand about this twin flame journey is that twin flame journey is to help us awaken to a form of love which is unconditional right we exist in a world where we feel love has limitations but in reality love is unconditional which is why it is so powerful and that is what the main purpose of twin flame journey is it is to awaken your soul to this believe this existence of unconditional love as we dived into the stages before in this um, series um, we know that there is the meeting there is the separation and there is the reconciling right so why does all of the stages matter and why each stage plays an important role in this journey is something um, we will be diving into this video is that what are the things that this twin flame journey is helping us transmute as humans we experience emotions um, which are similar to one another right it's just the intensity which is different but we all feel happy but what amount of happiness that we allow ourselves to feel is something that depends on ourselves. Before we start with what we have to deal with this twin flame journey, let's get some reminders here because I don't want you to get the wrong idea about this twin flame journey. So there are four certain ways that you can feel on this twin flame journey which are absolutely normal because we are on a an upgradation of who is it that we can be and that requires us to feel all four of these emotions a different amount of time stage intensity right so uh 
just make sure that you remember it's normal to feel all of these four emotions at different point of this time and on your journey. The first thing is that you feel out of alignment with your soul and that is totally normal because you're figuring out who is it that you can be so you need to let go of who used to be so that is the stage in between where you're letting go of who you used to be to figure out who you want to be or who you actually are or you're meant to be so that stage is the gray area where we are releasing and um, waiting for the new to come in Right? So it's okay to feel out of alignment. The second thing to remember is that sometimes you might be on the right path, but you still might be feeling that your vibration is low. That is because you are recognizing what aligns with you, what does not align with you. And that's totally normal, right? So you need to remember the next time you're feeling low, do not question your journey. Instead of asking yourself, what would be the reason that I'm feeling this low vibration energy? increase your vibration right engage in activities which um, increase your vibration like um, spending time in nature yoga doing something that you love like painting for me <laughs> you know something uh, which will help you solve the problem rather than dwell on whether you are on the right path or not right third thing to remember is that you are always in alignment with your soul it's just you are recognizing so you are on this right path right your vibration is on point all the times even if it's low high it's just your vibration is um notifying you where is it that you need to work on what is it that you need to do so instead of um seeing life things or the things that we experience during this journey as um, no, um, you know something that defines you use them as notifications to help you on your journey because you my friend are on the right path and finally this alignment and this vibration will reach that high point where you do not have to focus more on your um, energy anymore because you are already vibrating on that high frequency is by practice right when we practice 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 you will get there at a point that it will seem totally normal right so this is how it works so I just wanted to get those um, reminders out there if you're feeling confused in your twin flame journey just hold on we are going home <laughs> going home yeah okay <laughs> okay <laughs> getting into the songs sometimes you know like when I'm like talking to somebody and you know a word reminds me of a song then I do not control myself singing that song because like why not <laughs> so now let's dive into what we have to deal with on our twin flame journey so these are more uh, basically the emotions that we have to deal with and transmute it into what actually helps uh, raise our vibration at a soul level so the first thing is the fear and the guilt that we hold within the fear of um, what the society is gonna tell you the fear of um, your parents the fear of your dad your parent um, sorry the fear of your mom uh, the fear of your guardian the fear of your grandmom the fear of your grandfather the fear of um, the pastor in the church the fear of the priest in the temple the fear of uh, mula in the um, mosque you know like all of these things the fear of what people will tell you is something that you need to work on right um and the guilt of not having this fear is also something that you need to work on during this twin flame journey because when you are in this twin flame journey you are here to innovate something you are here to start a momentum and not um you know follow the crowd you're here to lead so you need to let go of that fear guilt that you feel inside that we have been conditioned to have right by the society by our growing up that you need to let go of it and find acceptance in who is it that you are because when you find acceptance in who is it that you truly are there is no more fear in what we what will people think about you because if you are beautiful then you are beautiful you know it's it's not about what what if people think that i'm just asking for it it, it, it it's it's that fear which gets us all twisted right but when we accept ourselves for who is it that we are 
um, is just going to help us elevate in the fullest way possible that makes our soul vibrate on high frequency, right? I'm going to give you an example. Uh, what happened was I was actually very scared of uh, speaking out my truth because um, as a child, I was told that my speaking my truth was something that I had to uh, tone it down because I didn't first of all I didn't know what I was speaking second of all um, you, you are just a child you do not know what you're talking about the third thing is like why are you always back answering but the truth is that I always knew what is it that I wanted I was very well aware about what is it that aligned with me what is it that was not aligning with me what is the truth that I want to follow what is the uh, falls that I do not want to follow ever but um, somewhere you know like I was conditioned to believe that speaking my truth was me disrespecting the elders in my family and that caused me to not speak my truth and you know shut my mouth and keep because whenever I spoke my truth um, I would feel this uh, fear you know, to ask permission to go somewhere out to my dad was something that I feared so much. And when I was getting too happy, you know, when I was excited about something and I would speak too much, right, because I was so happy and I wanted to share everything that I would feel. And then um, later I would end up feeling this guilt within me because uh, I spoke too much. And I wasn't supposed to speak so much because um, I am a child and I do not know anything, right? So this was a conditioning which I had to unlearn on my twin flame journey, um, which was very difficult because all my life I told myself that if I just spoke, it was disrespectful. If I spoke, people would judge me. If I spoke, whatever um, I was conditioned to believe were the things that I was scared of. But I had to fight through that by finding acceptance in my voice, finding acceptance in what is it that I was speaking was my truth. It didn't matter if people judged it or people didn't understand it, but I understood it to a soul level. So speaking my truth would help my soul elevate to a higher vibration. The second thing is turning expectations into patience, right? We expect so many things in the world and our parents expect so many things out of us. Um, the elders expect so many things. If you are a um, high achieving student, the school expects a lot of things from you. If you are in the sports team, the coach expects a lot of things from you. But you need to understand that these expectations are what they want from you, not necessarily what you want for yourself, right? And what you want for yourself, you need to learn to have patience for them, right? If you are wanting to be successful, instead of just, you know, getting disappointed that you're not successful today, oh my God, I'm still not successful, oh my God, I still don't have the money that I wanted, you know, you're just expecting, instead of expecting, put in the work, and have patience that when it's time, it's going to come to you. And it is so important because um, with the twin flame, as we know, we discuss that the twin flame comes in, we interact with them and then they separate. And then, you know, um, the reunion takes so much time because we do not know when each of those twin flame uh, counterparts are going to solve or heal those things within themselves, right? But they have to take initiation on their own. You cannot force other person to heal here, right? You have to heal yourself and wait for the other person to heal on their own time. So this requires patience and this patience can start with, you know, the expectations you have of your life. The third thing is turning doubts to faith. And this is like something that I can, um, talk on forever because um, I doubted myself so much. I second-guessed myself so much that it took me so long to step into my power is because and for those of you who know me personally know that I was so hesitant to step up to speak up even when people complimented me it was so hard for me to just say thank you instead of <laughs> that's what I used to do because I was like what you really think i'm that pretty what you really think i'm the heart you think i'm smart i don't think so <laughs> stop it yo this is what i used to do but in reality 
now when people compliment me i am honored that someone recognizes who is it that i am and i also recognize because i recognize who is it that i truly am i am also able to recognize who is faking that compliment to just get something out of me right and that was a very beautiful thing that i discovered about myself when i turned these doubts into faith right not just faith in myself but faith in the higher power that faith in the universe faith in god and this is a <laughs> this is very um um very close to heart topic to me because um the doubts which i had were uncountable like they, you cannot count those doubts like there was just so many doubts in my head but what kept me in my faith was people told me that if you practice one religion you cannot go into the other religions but then i never practiced religion i practiced love right when i was brought up in a christian household i practiced the love and forgiveness that jesus taught us when i moved out of my house um i learned to have in faith in allah that what is meant for you it will be given to you on the divine timing right uh, in the divine timing and when i um faced a lot of obstacles where i almost broke down and was going to give up I knew who picked me up and I was you know um in awe that there was someone who believed in me who put their faith in me right um that was Lord Shiva <laughs> that they picked me up when I was not able to pick myself up they blocked every obstacle every attack that I was getting on myself every uh slut shaming I was getting for speaking my truth right uh for being who is it that i was um and trust me when i say this there were so many things that were going on when uh lord shiva came into my life because uh there were a lot of things but i was guided and moved like without a scratch big because i put my faith in him like he put my uh, like he put his faith in me that i was not going to give up then i also connected with goddess isis who is um beautiful goddess of creation right and that helps me create till this day the point that i'm recording this video is also with the blessing of goddess isis right so i have a lot of spiritual um guides and guardians who help me on my journey and i cannot restrict because your religion does not permit it because i do not follow religion i follow the truth i follow my heart's calling i follow the love that beats my heart right so what got me to this faith the strong faith that i have today is that when i had doubts Not only did I resolve those doubts but I also took help from the universe right you do not have to do it all alone there is universe always helping to assist you on your journey it's just you have to accept the help of the universe by opening your mind up by opening your heart up the fourth point is that you got to turn your resentment to forgiveness You cannot hold on to grudges anymore when you're on this spiritual journey of your twin flame. Right? You cannot hold on to uh the hurt that people caused you by not believing in you. You cannot hold on to um things people told about you. You cannot hold on to um the bullies that bullied you because they were suffering from their own things right you got to remember that you need to find forgiveness not only for them but also for putting yourself in that situation you know sometimes we forgive the people who has caused us harm but sometimes it's very hard to forgive ourselves for putting ourselves in that stage or that situations or for bearing that uh situation for too long but it's okay you didn't know better You knew how much you knew back then, but you know better right now. And use that 
information. Use that knowledge to forgive yourself that it wasn't your fault. If that wasn't going to happen to you that back then, not like I'm saying that, that you deserve that to happen, but it happened and you can't change it. But what you can do about it is something that is in your hands. You can take that pain and transmute it into something beautiful, something that actually is your purpose, rather than dwelling into that pain and you know making yourself feel like you're the victim because you're not. You are only a victim till you call yourself the victim. Right? You have total power of what you do with that pain. So that is the fourth point. And finally, the judgment. The judgment when we ask people the question, how could they even think of doing something so bad to me? How can people even do that and this, you know, like let go of that judgment, you know, people are on their different journeys at different point of time and turn this judgment into love. When you start viewing people with unconditional love, you will start to understand why people do things, the things that they do. If someone is betraying you, they are betraying themselves too, right? If people are able to lie to you, they have been lying to themselves too. So whatever they project onto you is has nothing to do with you, but rather the things that they are personally struggling. So when you try to confront them, they might not agree with you and that's okay. You do not have to judge that. Sometimes... We just take extra time to understand what is happening within us. And when people tell us about it, we do not believe it, right? Uh, let me give you an example here, uh, which I think many people can relate, is that when you are in a toxic relationship and, and people tell you that they're not good, there are signs that you need to watch out for, um, that person is not loyal to you, and you're like, no, girl, I trust my man. I trust my woman and that's very, very rare but um, well I'm speaking for the girls because I'm a girl so <laughs> but I know there are men out there who are uh, you know who put their faith in the woman and they get played by and so I'm speaking up for you guys too um, so the point is it's not your fault that they cheated. It's not your fault they betrayed you. It's not your fault they played you. It's because they are playing themselves. They're betraying themselves long before they betrayed you. And you being you can trigger them sometimes. You know, you not betraying yourself, you not lying to yourself about who is it that you are, what is it that you are, can trigger them and that can cause them to betray you. And that's okay. That just means that they have more healing to do, more love to give themselves. And... You need to just find love in that situation and walk away with love and not hold any judgment regarding that situation, right? So I hope today's video, which was very um, interesting for me because um, I went out of the script, like I really didn't have anything in mind when I got on the camera and <laughs> we had a lot of uh, good talks and memories come up there. So I hope you had fun too, diving into today's video, sending you so much love and I will see you in the next video. Mwah.